Well, here we are at my father-in-law's house again, and we're working on this porch. As you can see, it's sagged a lot. And I'm not really sure exactly how that is up in there. I got my jack. And I got a 4x4 four four cut a block to lay up across up here. Screwed it on. We screw it up here too to make sure that it doesn't fall down on us. And uh, set that up there. Probably have to cut that board out and find out what's going on in there. But I would think that this beam originally dovetailed back up into that. You know that stucco there, so. So it does not, not appear to be counter sunk into that wall. Surprised. So that maybe it just attaches up to above. We're we'll gonna tear into it and see. Yeah, one little trick about being careful about your ladder when you go to put it at the very edge of a porch. I saw a guy on a uh, composite flooring, and he had the he had the ladder. He kind of compressed it a little bit like that. So when he stepped on it, he did that off the edge of the porch, and down he went. So always make sure your ladder is opened up all the way so that it doesn't do that okay so this piece of trim is easy to come off <laughs> Something has been there. Mm -mm. What a mess. You know, nothing's been up here for a long time. But. You can see a feather there, feather there. I don't know what you can see up there. Anything? Probably just more nest. But. So I've got a little hip root that comes down, but it looks like this is just attached to that with a scabbed on cut two by four or something. Not much. Not really much support in that. So. Word Galaxy convertible? Yeah. Pretty. But I don't want to get real dirty. Not with all that crap. Mm, let's get that. flat more. Clean house a little bit. Back in trade school, they used to call me Captain Clean. Captain Klingman. Mr. Clean, I'm sorry, not Captain. Mr. Clean. I don't know how you stay so clean when you do work. Not too dirty right now yet. Compared to my poor ladder. <laughs>
car, that wasn't very exciting. It's control. Wow. Alright, move the jack over a little closer to the house. Let's see what happens. They just don't have any structure here. I mean, it's almost like the whole thing was supported by above because if you look at that header board, it's just got a few nails into the top plate of the house above the stucco. And other than that, we're almost there. I mean, look at the rest of this porch up here. They got this all scabbed down from their um, joists. <laughs> I don't know what you ever want to call it. It's uh, just slapped right on top of the old roof. And the great old green shingles from the 50s. Those were original. And then this was added on. So I don't know what point this was added on. But I don't think it would have been too much after the house was built. To be honest with you. See that really kind of bows still. But that could be this sheet. Because there's nothing, there's nothing supporting. You see how the loose set is? There's nothing up there. They went like every two feet. No, no, they didn't go every two feet, but they got like 12, 30, 8. Uh, you know, I don't understand what they were thinking back in the day. I just don't understand it. There's no rhyme or reason. You come up with weird you know, 27 inches and stuff like that, 26 inches between studs. It's, it's, it's weird. I don't know. Of course, with the had plaster and laugh and those kind of things, it didn't matter, but still. <sighs> we cringe today with that kind of construction, but I think I can actually timber lock that roof joist right into that board, and that'll help that aspect of it. It's not going to help here, so let me get a plan. Okay. Well, we're going to see if this works. We got an 8 inch timber lock. So, like I said, this, this board here is actually attached to the one above it. You got a nail here, here, so that's just, this is swinging under here where the stucco is. It's not really attached to anything. Uh, but above, it's attached to the rim board, whatever you put on top of the roof there, or the wall. And uh, this guy here is nailed pretty good, but and I don't even know if this is going to help us much, but it can't hurt. Absolutely nothing. What? It's something. Nope. Ah. <laughs> well, you can see but where my finger is, that's the end of the board. So there's absolutely nothing there at all. Nothing. That's why that guy went like he did. Alright. Well, that makes sense. I already think that was attached. Well, if I was a betting man, I'd say this isn't going to work. It's kind of soft everywhere. I put a board up here, tried to anchor it from both ends, run screws up through here, 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 uh, here, here, here. <laughs> I mean, basically, all this is supported from above. And when you've got this all soft here, it's pretty much going to be a replacement. But at this point, I really don't want to, but I might have to. May have to have that work for now and then move that jack back so I can cut a section of that out and replace it. Yeah, that's my, my only option. But let's give this a shot and see if it see if it comes down any. Yeah. It won't stay long enough for me to move my jack back. It helped some because it didn't drop as bad as it was. There we were already we're back to where we were. So it eh, helped enough to get me repositioned and uh in a better better way where I can like cut that back and see what's really going on. I got a plan. Let's just leave the jack here, walk away. <laughs> Alright, so I just measured over three feet, used a speedy square, made a line. We'll cut this one by off. 
Not shabby for one hand. All right, well, let me just go ahead and get this zipped off the easy way. It's cut. What's behind door number one? You say lots of rot, I would agree with you. Well, there's why you can't get any good bite. It's all, it's all rotted up there. So we got a, a two by hanging on nothing packed out with another two by did I say hanging on nothing why last ditch effort tap con dash to the concrete screwed it from the other side right through the board that's solid Found a little bit of good meat here. I'm, I put that other board up there before, up on top. I screwed that to that and that. And that, and that, and that. Uh, there's just no structure here at all. But I think I'm gonna end up having to put something down here to hold it up. I wanna do so much. Yeah. <laughs> Through hell, Mary, and it. Made a touchdown. For now. <laughs> Definitely not proud of it. Definitely not my best work. Not my worst. We're probably gonna get birds in here over the weekend. It's a holiday weekend. I, it's a Sunday. I can't really do anything here um, to close this off tonight. But at least I, I just was gonna take a look at this today. I just had to swing by here and take a look at it. And here I am doing it. That's how it goes. Anyhow, um, it's staying up, but check that out um, that window had that little trim edge I cut a piece of two by six boom I mean I gotta level it and all that uh, throw something behind there but we'll get that I'll route that piece up, make that fit back in there. But uh, anyway, once I level that, we screw it in and tighten it, and it'll support it. And yeah, be good. Cut this guy down to fit better for that window, and that'll eh, that'll get it. Okay, my father-in-law would be proud. <laughs> so that screen. Oh, let's see if you can see. There's little clips. Anyway, so instead of having a little clips, I just put in screws. You can still take them out. Got screws there and there. They have these little metal clips holding it in. I thought I was going to have to use them. So I'm going to get more complicated and fill that in. But nope, just run a couple screws in there and bingo. That'll work. All right, I'm a little more proud of it. <laughs> and on the outside, once we put some caulking and paint, that's not gonna look too bad. And at least it's not gonna come down and I don't have to tear it all apart. And we can just throw some lipstick and mascara, I mean, in other words, caulking and paint and make it pretty. So I guess the real question is, is WW... <laughs> so the real question is WWPCD, WWPCD what would the phantom carpenter do he wouldn't have done that but like i said in the end i'll have to get up there and get a uh, a one by ten right here I'll put a one by ten and then i gotta get a one by six and run it through because this is actually it's three and three quarters not three and a half so i'll have to take those two pieces off make new clad it on there uh, I kind of just wish I would have made that block a little longer. That would have been sitting right on that. But I'll have to do something with that little area there. But it's sitting on it now. So and then I can take this back off if I have to. Um, but I'll probably just fill that in with caulk, sand it down, caulk it all up, paint it. And uh, put a new piece of 3 8 ply on the ceiling. I think we'll have a winner. <laughs>